What's up everybody, I hope you're all doing great. Good afternoon or good morning, wherever you're from. Um, or good evening, it's also possible, definitely. And um, yeah, welcome back to Selenix Crypto. It's good to have you here and uh, welcome to another daily Bitcoin update, which we, uh, I call it daily, but we haven't been doing it daily the last couple of days. Um, just because, I mean, B Bitcoin was just moving very boringly right here. And, and what we talked about yesterday, yesterday we actually needed to update it today too, and tomorrow we'll see. Um, but what, what we saw yesterday is that you could see this downtrend creeping up on us. And then you can see this general uptrend getting above us here. Here we got another touch. Um, and, and what we said yesterday is like it's, it's just squeezing together. And then together with that, we also got inflation rate numbers. And what I said in the video yesterday <clears throat> is that we're either uh, going to have a higher than uh, expected inflation rate, which would cause us to drop down all the way to this level right here and probably turn down even further. Uh, or it's going to be lower than expected, which will make us break out above 31,400 and 33,000. But let's not talk about that because um, we didn't get that. Inflation was higher than expected. Actually, quite significantly, I, th uh, I found so. Oh, well, that's not great. So that made us, made us uh, get this move. Um, now we found some support here at this level at around 28,800, which I also had a trade at. I had a trade at 28,700, which we just didn't touch, <laughs> um, which looks to be respected. And, and this is, all in all, it's, it's a quite strong level, this level here on top of, let's say, 28,600 to, to be specific. So we might still drop down a little bit lower, but I think at this level, we actually have the first chance of actually holding for a longer period of time. So um, I'm, I'm not sure though, but if we actually hold this level for the next few days, we probably just consolidate between 29,500 and 28,600. Uh, but if we hold that, I think that, that within the week, we can actually start to trend up again towards that 30K, 30,700 level. And we'll see again from there whether we're just going to consolidate within this area between 30,700 and 28,600 again, or whether we have a, a, a real chance at breaking it, which um, I'm not sure. I don't think that's very likely. Um, but yeah, on, on, on the other side, it's um, at this point of time, the market is still very unstable and, and still very unpredictable. So even though my bias kind of is that we hold this level, um, if we break down below that level, so the, the, the main marking area is at 28,600. If we break down below that level, we're easily dropping down to this level here around 28,000 and 27,700. Uh, and that level, I'm, I'm fairly certain of that that will hold unless we get some some major bearish fundamental move so something caused uh, from outside of the markets unless we get that i think that will hold and and then um we can definitely see some bullish moves from there but whether that's going to be an uptrend or just a consolidation again it's hard to say i think a consolidation um, but yeah, so that's my full analysis on, on Bitcoin for now. If you do have any questions about the analysis or about anything I said, um, please let me know down in the comments. And as for now, thank you all for watching and listening, and I hope to see you all in my next videos. Bye.